All right, thank you all for being here. Um, I say this on Mondays frequently, and, and I mean it. appreciate the job you do. appreciate you all promoting our program and promoting our student athletes. Um, huge day in the, in the development of our program today. It's uh, our staff and players are excited um, about playing in the Dollar General Bowl in Mobile. Um, it's been since 2010 since Troy was in a bowl game, and huge accomplishment. And um, Mobile is one of my favorite cities. It's a great destination for our fans, for our alumni, uh, and for our students, you know, our players and our student body. I uh, look forward to going down to Mobile and, and, and really celebrating what's been a really a, a, a great turnaround season, going from four wins to nine, one of the biggest turnarounds in the country in Division One football. And speaking to my experience playing in it in January of 2010, first class event, the people in Mobile, uh, the people that are associated with this bowl, the city of Mobile do a tremendous job. I've been to several bowls in my career as a player and a coach, and, and this is right up there with you, the hospitality they show you. Um, look forward to the matchup with Ohio University. A lot of respect for, for Coach Solich and his staff. If you look at what they've done over an extended period of time, uh, one of the most respected staffs in the country. Uh, had an opportunity to play them in 2014. Um, at the University of Kentucky, and and do a do a great job, do a great job uh, on both sides, especially on defense. Always impressed with how they play. Um, you know, watched them on Friday night, uh, a team that took Western Michigan, who's going to the Cotton Bowl. Uh, really excited for for that program, Western Michigan, to be to be representing the Group of Five in the Cotton Bowl. Tremendous honor for them. A lot of friends on that staff, and what a what a year for them. Um, but to see Ohio play them late and have an opportunity to win that game uh, late in the fourth quarter in the championship. So really looking forward to that matchup. Again, huge, uh, huge accomplishment for this football team. And if you think about it, to be 9-3, and three, uh, to finish runner-up in our conference, if you take it, if you go back, okay, and, and there's, there's a little bit of uh, salt still in the wound from yesterday without a doubt, but if you go back like I have over the last 24 hours and you look at a team that was picked to finish in the middle of the Sun Belt, and I, I believe, and, and Adam, you can correct me if I'm wrong, we, had, we only had two guys that were, that were selected preseason all Sun Belt. So to turn that into a year that we get nationally ranked, uh, first time in school history, first time in Sun Belt history, uh, to play on national television three times and to finish nine and three, which uh, ties the Division One record for for most wins in, in, in Troy Division One history. So with an opportunity to get to ten, so uh, great accomplishment for our staff, for our players, and and with that, I'll I'll, I'll answer questions. Yeah, we we just we just got that's why it's a few minutes late here. We just got out of a staff meeting and really setting the uh, the schedule. First first piece of piece of business for our, for our student athletes is finals. Uh, dead days Wednesday here, and then we'll be in finals Thursday, Friday, and then the next Monday and Tuesday. So that's the first order of business. Uh, this is going to be a reward for our players. You know, I, I think there's a lot of different ways you look at bowls for us. Uh, where we're at as a program, this is going to be a reward. All right, we're also get some extra practice time, which is good for our young players. But this is going to be a reward. We're going to treat it as that. We're going to do everything possibly that we can do within the rules to uh, to reward our student athletes for for helping us turn this program around. The first round of bowls for the Belts on the 17th, but you get the one that's on the 23rd. Does that extra six days help you for a team that looks like it's been battered up in the last? Well, you know, I, I think it, it. We are we are a little bit uh, beaten up. I don't know if we're any beaten up any more than any other team. Um, the problem with us, it hits us a little bit more because we're playing with reduced scholarship numbers. You know, we're still in the mid 70s scholarships. You get 85. Um, so sometimes our injuries are when we get beat up a little bit shows more than some other teams. Um, but we're we're excited about playing on the 23rd. We, you know, this is this is a bowl that. Uh, if I could have a pick, this would, this would be my preferred destination. You know, uh, we're playing in the state of Alabama. Um, we're playing in one of the, rec the, the recruiting hotbeds in the country. Um, and, and, it's, and it's really a premier matchup. Uh, you play it on the 23rd. I believe we're the only game on television, uh, a football game on television on that Friday evening. Uh, so, huge opportunity for our program, uh, for the university to get national exposure. Um, just a lot of positives going going along with it. Um, when you play on the 17th, because you know I'll leave out here later today and be on the recruiting trail, you know, and and my, as as every other Division One coach in the country, you know, it's almost when you play on the 17th, it's like having a bye week, but you're recruiting all week, so you you don't have any more preparation for for a game on the 17th than you would for a normal in season game. So the 23rd does give you a little bit more time to game plan and and kind of relax a little bit as far as players and staff. 
Well, and I want to say this too. I think that's a huge, uh, you know, our showing down at South uh, at in Mobile when we played South Alabama with our crowd. Uh, I, you know, I don't want to speak for the committee, but I would say that that played a big influence with them. Um, you know, I look back at the season. There's so many positives, but. You know, the fan turnout and the energy we had in Lad People Stadium that night is is one of the highlights for sure. Um, and we're going to do some things to really encourage our students. You know, this is this is a destination where our students can can get there. Um, and we're going to do some things for, for incentives to get them there. Um, but I, I fully expect us to have a great crowd, uh, great Troy following to come down on the 23rd. They can still leave uh, early on the 24th and get to get all the Christmas plans. Good deal. Yes, sir. Just a quick snapshot. What did you see from uh, uh, Well, the the thing that stuck out to me, and, and I haven't watched them yet, and I've talked to a couple couple friends I have in, in the Mid American Conference just about um, the thing that stuck out to me on Friday night. I only got to see the second half because we had meetings. Um, they really pressured the passer. You know, defensive line is, is really active. Uh, they've always been a physical football team on offense and being able to run the ball. Uh, I know they play two different quarterbacks. Uh, the, the the guy that finished the game was really athletic, and I thought he played well, um, kind of getting thrust into duty there in the MAC championship game against against a really really good Western Michigan team. Did y'all watch it as a staff? No, no, this no, or just out on no, the no. I was watching it watching it right before I went to bed on on Friday night. So um, maybe they thought they they could be a potential opponent, but wasn't breaking it down. Just just watching as a fan of 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 college football and and it, what was a really good game there late in the fourth quarter. Well, we're not. We haven't. We just sent out a text message uh, uh, to them. We're gonna we're gonna meet here at. Uh, we got a team meeting at 5:45, and then we're gonna come over and 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 honor our football team at halftime of the men's game tonight. Uh, so we're gonna meet and kind of lay out plans uh, for them at 5:45. They're fired up. You know, we we've only got one guy on our whole football team that's ever played in a bowl game. And that's Junior Yankande. You know, at North Carolina as a graduate transfer, nobody else ever played in a bowl game. So, we're going to lay out the schedule for them. And, and again, same thing. The the same emphasis that that I did with you is I want to emphasize with them is really just hey, it's going to be a reward. It's going to be a reward, and not going to not going to spend much. Probably won't even bring up the game yesterday. Kind of move forward. Appreciate you guys being here. Big day for us, obviously as a program, uh, as an athletic department. Um, opportunity to. Uh, Accept an invitation to play in the Dollar General Bowl in Mobile, uh, December 23rd, 7 p.m. on ESPN against uh, Ohio University. Uh, very good program, very good team. I think you guys probably had a chance to see them play this weekend versus uh, Western Michigan. And uh, if you watch that game, you understand uh, just how good they are. So it'll be a great, great opportunity to match up against a great team. Um, we're obviously excited about getting back to where we feel like we, we want to be and where we belong as a program. And that's uh, consistently uh, playing in a bowl game. And so great opportunity for us. Um, you know, kudos to Coach Brown and his staff who've done an uh, uh, unbelievable job in a short period of time of getting us, getting us on the right track. Uh, four and eight last year to getting this thing turned around, nine and three. Uh, very, very special year. Obviously being ranked in the top 25 at one point this year, uh, making a run at um, you know, Sunbelt uh, Championship. And, just a lot of things happened this year, very, very positive, and, and uh, we're excited to be in this position. So we'll, uh, we'll open it up for questions. How, how clear, uh, quickly did the uh, bowl picture become clear? Because I know I've seen a lot of the mobile reps uh, it, it, around the last two home games anyways. Yeah. Um, you know, I, it's, I think until you get to this day, there's always some, you, you always kind of uh, are afraid there might be a curveball somewhere. But what I, will, what I will tell you is that the mobile, um, folks and the Dollar General Bowl uh, have really been, um, they've been interest, interested in us all year. And uh, they've been to several of our games. They, they really were um, plugged into us, I think, from the very beginning. I think our trip uh, down to South Alabama where our fans really went above and beyond and showed out and supported our team uh, didn't hurt. You know, I think that's a great feather in the cap from that standpoint uh, to be able to say, you know, they know we'll travel to Mobile and they know we'll show up and uh, loud and proud. So we've got to make sure that we, we do that. Um, but I think that was a big piece of that too. You took 16 buses last time. How many will you take this time? Well, a little different challenge this time. We got to have to get creative because the students won't uh, won't be in uh, won't be in class obviously, and, and um, on December 23rd. But we're going to make sure our students have every opportunity to to get tickets, and uh, we're going to help them you know help any way we can. Anything specific you guys are doing to try to increase student turnout for this game? Which I've thought of. 
Yeah, we've we got a couple of things coming. I won't, uh, I won't spill the beans just yet on some of the promotions we're going to do for the students, but we, uh, we're going to have some stuff coming out tomorrow. We'll have student tickets go on sale, and, and again, we'll, we'll try to give them every opportunity to get there. And, uh, you know, I think the good thing about this bowl I didn't mention is just proximity. I think where it's at, middle of our fan base, uh, from a recruiting standpoint, I think Mobile's a great fit for us. Uh, and a lot of our students live, you know, within, a, within close proximity uh, to the area, and, and I know they'll make every effort to get there on the 23rd. What's the payout, and how does the payout kind of, stuff kind of work there? Yeah, I, I think the payout piece is probably, uh, there's a little, bit, a little bit of a misnomer, a little bit, um, uh, you know, from a conference perspective, um, you know, they're, they're, it's on pretty even footing. Um, where we are able to make a difference in revenue standpoint is tickets we sell. And that's really where it comes down to uh, our, our bowl games are set up that way where uh, if we sell tickets, we're going to be in a better position revenue-wise. And, and uh, you know, and that, that's, you know, we make that point very clear, you know, and we encourage our folks to make sure they're buying tickets through Troy, through, through Troy Athletics. And uh, um, so that's where the revenue piece comes in for us. Well, were you pleased with the response you had in the deposits? I know you told me yeah. you had about 1,200 or so yesterday. Yeah, we felt like that was a good number. We had, we had a really good response uh, to our deposit um, program throughout the last uh, five weeks or so of the season. Uh, great foundation there, like I said, over 1,200 deposits, and, and uh, that was a great start for us. And we know a lot of folks were kind of waiting to see what happened, and, and we understand that too, um, but, but really encouraged by that, that process. Will you be upping the assistant pool next year to reward them for this season? Well, I'll tell you what, we're, we're, going, to be, uh, we're going to be making sure our guys are, have every resource available to them to be successful. We'll put it that way. Um, we'll make sure that um, – you know, that we're putting our best foot forward and, and if those guys have earned the opportunity to do those things, that's what we're going to do. Does that also apply with Neil? Yeah, absolutely. Same message. I mean, we're going to make sure they've got every resource to be successful. Uh, Coach Brown, his staff have done an excellent job. We'd love for them to be here for a long time, and we're going we're to make sure that uh, we put our best foot forward.